I received a dev problem oh. of the week in my LinkedIn, <laughs> which I oh, haven't yeah. shared yet. It was just last night. Send it my way or I'll schedule something. It's going to be juicy. Talking about a juicy problem of the week, let's start mm. with this one from our good friend Kimchi for me. Breadcrumbs where there are multiple paths user can take to the same page. Hmm. Right. Kimchi for me, what is up? You got problems. They are breadcrumb related. <laughs> Let's get into it. So we've got confusing breadcrumbs. They're causing drama, even to the point where maybe we're going to get rid of them entirely. They have a learning website like Cooking 101, Chapter 1, Basics of Boiling Water. So this Basics of Boiling Water it actually can live in Baking 101 as well as Cooking 101. The confusion part of this whole equation is coming up because from different points within the app, basically switches between a path-based breadcrumb to a location-based breadcrumb. So naturally, we started with the problem statement. As a student at a cooking school, I want to be able to navigate the learning site and access the materials I want to learn even if I'm not sure where everything is. Users don't care about your website architecture. Sorry. <laughs> so we talked about our assumptions, our rationale, and our approach. We had this feeling, are we asking too much from these breadcrumbs? Are we getting them to do sort of a lot? We identified and named what's happening, which is we're using a mix of path-based and location-based breadcrumbs. We referenced our amazing breadcrumbs UX design best practices article. And we thought a little bit more about the actual architecture that's at play here. Those courses have modules that might include multiple things like this, boiling water, making toast, cutting onions, whatever it is. That micro skill called boiling water could also be present in multiple different courses and it's reused. Does boiling water contained in Cooking 101? Does it belong to Cooking 101? Does it belong to Baking 101? And we decided, yes, yes, it does. If we're doing path-based breadcrumbs following where you came from, it tells you what you were thinking. It tells you where you might want to branch off to next and discovering things. It's important to have really good rationale as to when you do that. We whipped up some breadcrumb logic. What we're suggesting, even from the dashboard, we actually reflect this location-based breadcrumb approach because it doesn't really matter that you came from the dashboard. It doesn't impact what you access or how you access it. It may be the case that there are some really good reasons to use a path-based breadcrumb. We just kind of played with how we would potentially do that. So we explain the path that you went to get to boiling water, but we also give you a little bit of metadata about where else this thing is contained. And we use just a simple technique of using a colon at the end of our breadcrumb to show that this is indeed a path-based breadcrumb. It's so simple. It's a bite-sized solution for an appetizing navigation. And what are these <laughs> breadcrumbs? Toast for ants? 